So this was a bar graph for this frequency table of car colors. Uh, so now we're going to try to create something called a Pareto chart. Now, a Pareto chart is really the same idea as a bar graph. It's just a specific type of bar graph. So we're going to start it the same way. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Now, of course, if I really wanted to do a, a really high quality graph, I would not just be freehanding this. I would be using some either graph paper or use a pencil or, like I said, use a computer. Uh, but it'll, this'll be okay for now. So the idea of a Pareto chart is that we're gonna do a bar graph, uh, but we're gonna list, we're gonna arrange the bars uh, in decreasing frequency order. So in other words, we're gonna put first, um, the first color we're gonna draw, or sorry, the first bar we're gonna draw is for the uh, category with the highest frequency, which is, which is 52 here uh, for the green cars. Uh, so that's our green cars. And then our next highest frequency appears to be the, the red cars with a frequency of 41. And so we could draw in our red car bar. Uh, and then next one is our black cars with a, with a frequency of 39. And so on. And there's our completed Pareto chart. Now, the advantage of a Pareto chart over our original bar graph is that here, at least without the numbers listed, it would have been hard to tell the difference between, say, the red cars and the black cars. But by creating a Pareto chart, you can, uh, the bars that are similar height are going to be right next to each other, and so it's easier to see the difference between the heights.